Welcome back to level 7 Omega Protocol. We're playing through mission 2, A Breath of Fresh Air. This is now turn 6, or the end of round 3. It's the Overseer's turn. However, I did forget to do one thing at the end of the Commando's turn, and that is when the Fear Hunter spawned here in this room, we should have resolved the room stack. Uh, it says so right in the rules. Uh, for the mission and so we need to resolve the two cards in this room right now and the first one's a priority two and it is a vent and so this is place a vent marker on the, any tile in this room do not place it on a wall or objective space so we get to place a vent marker here it is and I'm going to put the vent marker right there it's the overseer and the next card in the room is the this one here flanking party it says spawn three rogue clones in this room so we get more clones added to the board not good for the commandos all right so i'm going to grab the three rogue clones i'm going to spawn them in this room i'm going to spawn one right on the vent you'll see why in a moment uh, we'll put one right behind him and we'll put one right there all right that it sort of takes care of the end of the commandos turn where all, everything got revealed and now i'm going to go over to the overseer dashboard and we will continue with the overseer's turn now we're on to the overseer phase proper and the first thing we do is we refresh the dashboard abilities so this refresh rate for the clone flankers is two so we remove two adrenaline tokens from the pool put them into the bank uh, and now the Overseer has a hefty 14, or no, sorry, 16 Adrenaline to spend. Uh, we have nine clones on the board right now and one Fear Hunter. So a lot of alien troops. I'm actually going to spend two, four, six, eight, nine Adrenaline right now to do combat activations on every single clone on the board. And I've, while we're here at the dashboard, I'm also going to spend one uh, adrenaline token to move the fear hunter so not a combat activation i'm just going to move it all right so i'm going to go back now to the main board uh, we still the overseer still has six adrenaline left to play with back to the main board and we'll move and attack with all of those clones and we will move the fear hunter i have a feeling the overseer is about to bring the pain okay what can happen now is the rogue clones that uh, are on the vent, they have an ability that allows them to travel through the vents. And conveniently, we have another vent over here where the commandos are. Uh, the rogue clones have a movement of six. And so I'll show you how the vent movement works. So on a vent, they're going to move one. So they move entire tiles. So from going from the vent to here is one movement, two, three, four. Four brings him to this this vent four and I'm going to have him go one diagonal five and one here six and he is going to attack the heavy sports specialist and the reason being the heavy sports specialist only has a melee defense of two so a good possibility that that rogue clone can in fact damage the heavy sports specialist so three dice for his attack Indeed, two, three, four hits. That's going to put one wound on the heavy sports specialist. One of five. And next up, we're going to move this rogue clone. So one, two, three, four, five, and one diagonal six. He is also going to attack the heavy sports specialist. And this time, he's going to get one extra black die because it is the same type of uh, alien same type of clone attacking at the same target so four uh, black die and two three four hits that's another damage on the heavy sports specialist he is just being raked by these uh, rogue clones of course we have one more left to move here one two three four five and six he comes straight out he is now adjacent to the Heavy Sports Specialist, and guess what? He's going to attack him as well. Four black attack dice to the Heavy Sports Specialist. Two, four hits. It's enough to beat the defense of two. And now a third wound marker goes on the Heavy Sports Specialist. Took a beating from those uh, rogue clones. All right, we still have uh, six more clones to activate up here in the north. So I'm going to activate this rogue clone first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Couldn't really do much. However, 
it is now time to activate the other five. I'm going to activate this one first. One diagonal here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And guess who he's shooting at, of course, the heavy sport specialist. Now he only gets three black dice uh, because he's not the same type of uh, clone as uh, rogue clones. Uh, but, and now the heavy sport specialist has a three defense for ranged attacks. And two, three, wow. The heavy sport specialist takes a fourth wound. I think I know where this is headed. All right. Four more warrior clones to activate. I'm going to activate this one. One, two for one diagonal. Three, four, five, six turns this way. Shooting at the heavy support specialist. This time it is now four black dice. Get that one bonus die because it's the same type of clone attacking the same target. Has to beat the uh, heavy support specialist defense of three. One hit does not breach his defense. Three more warrior clones. Let's do this one. One, two, three, four. One diagonal, five. Eh, oh, hang on. I'm going to try that again. He's here. One, two, three, four, five, six. He goes to the other side because he can, uh, friendly units can pass through friendly units without any problem. Four attack die. Again, there's no blocking for line of sight for figures or tokens on the board. Has to defeat the defense of three. One, two, three. And that's it for the... Wow, the heavy support specialist is now downed. He's taken his fifth wound. So now we get into another rule. It's called downed. He is a down card. And what does down card mean? It means he has a movement of two. Uh, range defense three. Melee defense three. You can only perform move actions. Med packs have no effect on you. You cannot use the abilities of your kit cards. And you can only spend up to two adrenaline. That now goes on his figure. And we need to replace his figure uh, with... We need to replace his figure. Sorry, this is not focusing. That's better. With a downed marker. So I need to find the heavy sport specialist's downed marker. Um, let's see if I can find it. And I think this is it. So we're going to replace him with the down marker. So away goes his miniature. And he gets replaced with a token. And what it means is he can't be um, damaged anymore until the crisis point has happened in the game. At, at which point in time he could be killed. Now that our heavy support specialist has been downed. And he now has the downed stance card. Uh, immediately we must remove all of his adrenaline and pass it over to the overseer. Uh, so we're going to do that right now, and then let's go over to the dashboard. So the three adrenaline from the downed heavy sports specialist get added to the overseer's pool. And what else happens when a commando gets down is every uh, dashboard ability gets to refresh once. So this one is going to refresh right now. All right, go back to the main board, wrap it up. Moving the next warrior clone here, six, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Six will be one diagonal, and he's going to shoot at the recon specialist, which is one, two, three, one, two, three. So the recon specialist does get partial cover, so his ranged defense is going to be four. Uh, range defense of four, the warrior clone gets to roll three dice, see what he can do. One, two, three, four. Wow. This is a stellar overseer turn. The recon specialist takes a wound. The last warrior clone. One, two, three, four, five, and one diagonal six. He's also going to shoot at the recon specialist. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Passes through cover. Uh, he gets one bonus black. Uh, die though because he's shooting at the same target this with from the same type of alien uh, The recon specialist has four defense the warrior clone has four black dots And he rolls Four hits that's another wound on the recon specialist So we have the heavy spore specialist is down the recon specialist has two wounds I'm Gonna reposition a little bit over here because now there's more activity going on Wow, the 
commandos took a beating. All right, I'm going to move the fear hunter. And he gets a movement of seven. And he just needs to go one, two, three. And he's adjacent to this door. And I'm going to read why that's important. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the fear hunter's card. Again, these stats are higher. That's a seven. That's a five, seven. He has six hit points, not four, and hit activation is three. But let's take a look at the text. That's the important bit. Anytime a commando within a two-space aura of this figure increases his adrenaline, he gains one additional adrenaline token. And this is the important one that we want to look at right now. If this figure is adjacent to a door, spend three adrenaline to discard the door marker without resolving its rules. The newly connected room is explored normally. The figure can make Two attacks when activated for a combat activation. He's a hybrid, he's sure-footed, which means he doesn't take penalties for moving over rough terrain, and he has four red dice for a claw attack. He has knockback, which can move a, uh, a commando, I believe, one space away after he's hit, and he has reach, which means he can hit adjacent targets, and he can also hit targets that are two spaces away. Very, very nasty creature. All right, what we want to do, though, is we want to spend three adrenaline from the overseer and we're going to have that fear hunter open this door. So when he opens the door we need to resolve the stack that I've taken away from the room. Let me just grab the stack and we'll do that. All right sorry about that there was a stack of cards there I just temporarily moved them and there are three cards in there that we need to resolve and the first one we're going to look at is clear and why is this card in here, it's because it's a placeholder, uh, because the two spots on the board that could have been the objective spaces were this one and the one where the objective was found. So that was just a placeholder. The next token, or the next card in the uh, stack is corrosive gas. It's a trap. Place up to nine corrosive gas markers in this room to form one cloud. Well, not really necessary. Commandos are not going to go to this room because that's not anywhere near their objective space. They need to go to the control panel. However, I will place four in here just um, for something to do. And when you place corrosive gas markers, they must be adjacent to two other corrosive gas markers. And they must be orthogonally adjacent, not diagonal. So that is the corrosive gas trap. And as if we didn't have enough rogue clones on the board we get to spawn three more of them so three more rogue clones joining the party from into that room so i'll just grab those and we'll place them in the room now i don't want to block this door because i'm going to have the fear hunter come i'm just going to line them up right here and away we go okay all kinds of activity going on and the last thing that the Overseer turn or phase uh, does is discards down to 10 adrenaline if he has more than 10. Only has three left, so that's not going to happen. All right, wow, what a stellar turn for the Overseer. I don't know how the commandos are going to get out of this one. Uh, join me next time where we'll see the commandos try. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.